Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you an Abyssal Demon Camping and Slayer guide using the 1 hour test. The requirements to kill these are 85 Slayer. I used Mage to kill them, but all styles work. The best location for efficiently slaying them is at the Mortania Slayer Tower roof. It requires 70 agility to cross the plank at the top floor to climb the roof. Subjugation works just fine here. I'm currently not testing it on task, but obviously on, if you're on task, you want to use Slayer Helmet and Mortania Legs 4. Amulet of Zealots with Leech Magic Strength offers a higher DPS than Torment Prayer. Also, Collector's Insignia does help here too, as these creatures do drop a lot of rare drop table junk. What this item does is it acts as a Ring of Wealth in the pocket slot, which means a higher chance to get better rewards in the rare drop table. You don't need this to be charged, so don't worry about it. I use an uncharged one and it works here just fine. I also use Vampirism Aura to help survive, but if you don't have it, you can just use Soul Split. One cool thing about Vampirism Ore is that it allows you to deflect melee, which is great if you don't have Soul Split unlocked. I use Supreme Overloads with Weapon Poison Plus Plus. A Tune Exoplasmator is also crucial here, since it will trigger Demon Horn Necklace to restore lots of prayer points, and give a small amount of prayer experience. Basically, you will wear Zealots but swap out for Demon Horn Necklace when you kill a bunch of demons at the same time. Gem Bag is also really great here, especially if you're area looting. Spring Cleaner is used to destroy Rune and Addy items. The rest of the inventory is self-explanatory. Now the key to achieving high kills per hour is utilizing an optimal ability bar rotation. Having Corruption Blast is highly recommended here as it will hit a, a bunch of enemies and bleed them. So what I do is put Chain on the first slot then follow it with Dragon Breath. Then I focus on Detonate as my threshold later on. Basically you press and hold the key for 3 to 6 seconds and then it will launch an explosion probably at a 4x4 four four radius from your target. Sometimes it glitches that it doesn't hit your target, and, or sometimes cancels out. For ultimates, you just want to use Sunshine as often as possible. But when Sunshine is on cooldown, you want to use Tsunami. What it does is it hits multiple targets in a linear direction. Tsunami also offers a 10% adrenaline gain for each critical hit, which allows another Sunshine rotation not too long later. The rest of my ability bar will be filled with basic abilities when the reps are in cooldown. You may also want to use other thresholds if you have spare adrenaline while the rest are on cooldown. All in all, multi-target abilities should be prioritized over single target abilities. The drops here are surprisingly amazing. They're great for Crimson Charms as well. Although there's not a valuable drop you'll be anticipating, you'll get a lot of uncut gems, rune and addy equipment, and frequent access to the rare drop table. Another cool thing is, as you can see, most of the kills are within area looting distance. This means I can loot just about everything but sharks and maintain a fast kill rate per hour. That's why I bring a spring cleaner, gem bag, and a pack yak. If you're on slayer task as well, there's a chance of getting an abyssal wand and an orb. Since most gem drops are rubies, typically you will have a full bag within half of your trip. When that happens, you can use your pack yak to store all your rubies, but even then, you still won't have enough room. Remember to use winter stores to bank all your weapons, armor, and gems, as well as rare drop table junk. Alright, so I've just about finished this trip. I've done multiple tests on this, and they're all 950 to 1000 kills per hour, so this should all be consistent. I was also pretty lucky this hour with all the beans and the rare drop table, especially the palm seeds. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope it helps. If I miss anything, feel free to ask.